purposes. This is a typical reman unit that would be leaving ULT that's in queue for wrapping up and getting ready to go. Uh, you notice the new airlines and the new valves with the fittings attached. Uh, we use a simplex line now. We got new air regulators, new nut, and spacer on the back. Um, one thing that is specifically that we should get people to pay attention to when looking at this transmission is the fact that this shift tower here. So this specific shift tower is referred to as a standard tower. And the reason it's referred to as a standard tower as the hole here for the shift cover is set back away from the input shaft of the transmission. So this is what referred to as a standard cover. If this hole was more central, let's say, where it was moved up to about two inches and in the center of the cover, it would be referred to as a forward shift cover for this transmission because uh, technically this hole is moved forward to the input shaft and it would reflect in the part number. So this particular transmission is in RTLO 18918B P series transmission. Uh, if it was a shift forward cover, then the, this tower here, this hole here position again would be moved up a couple of inches and more center to the cover and the part number would be an RTLO F18918 to distinguish its cover position. It's extremely important for a technician because you never want to go and be that guy to install one of these and then realize that your hole position is different from the transmission you pulled out to the transmission you're putting in. So therefore we've come up with a little sticker do not let foreign debris enter this transmission is extremely important. But this extra sticker down the side of the transmission, and I'll show these better on another another video slide just around the corner from it, okay? Which is basically showing you the whole position here.